fish. Ooh. Ooh, fish. That gets aged. Another cuskiel. Cuskiel. Oh, that's a long pectoral fin. Ooh. That is so cool. Wow. Wow. It's pretty chill. Oh. Nice shot. Now I have a update uh, request for a direction change. Okay. Can we uh, head off to the northwest towards the area of steeper slope, uh, kind of lateraling along the, the depth we're at right now? Sure. Is that? You see all the gut contents of it. Wow. Is that yeah. a sea pig? That looks like a different species of sea cucumber that other than the ones we've been seeing so oh, far. That's bizarre. Yeah, I would expect Please. to see different ones down here. Please, wake up! So the back... So clear. The back of that area, is that an intestinal tract, or is that something different? Yeah, that's intestinal. I don't think this is one of the swimming ones. They, uh, it doesn't seem to be adapted for that. This one seems to have these small little legs, which are basically mm -hmm. tube feet or modified tube feet. Wow, I think... That's really cool. Yeah. I think it's worth... Getting? Uh, yeah, we could try to collect it. I, I think Liz wanted more shallower species. Yeah. That's what I heard as well. Yeah, let's pa let's pass yeah. on this one. Now. They got contacts. Uh, still, yeah, visible, good though, good cool. observation yeah. for uh, identification purposes. Good eye. All right, all set. Moving let's up. move on. That's really cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Good eye. So many uh, good there, dude. It's a sea cucumber. Its gut is so long. Yeah, yeah this, this getting a lot of food. Pretty large. A lot of uh, a lot of species were described initially from those collections, but right, we know you know we're using different tools these days than dredges and and nets, <laughs> and so we can see things uh, in situ or in their own environment. Um, Okay. And that helps cool. us uh, have a better understanding of some of the life history traits and characteristics of these animals. Um, and oftentimes we can get a whole specimen rather than a, uh, a fragment, perhaps. All right, who wants to guess what's going on it's here? It's definitely not a crinoid. Is that a squat? That's not a squat lobster. It is definitely a... 100, 100 watch bucks to whoever gets this. 100 watch bucks. That thing is that another yeah. sea spider? Um, it's frozen. Yeah. All right, we're on the right track. Sea okay. serpent. Sea spider was right. Oh. Ah. Well, technically I was right, because there is a crinoid. Get a few crabs so... of this. This is really cool. What's it, gotcha. what's it doing? This is a sea spider predation on a bamboo coral. Oh. All right, Ben, it gets the watch books. Yeah, this is a so the yellow, golden-colored animal is a sea spider, and you can see its proboscis up on top there. Uh, just ab above it, it's uh, preying on looks like these polyps of this bamboo coral. This has been something that's been observed before, but I think this is the first time we've seen it on this expedition. So uh, they have a really simplistic body plan. Um, they're uh, very little anatomy in the center here. It's mostly digestive. Uh, there's, there's a couple of eye spots sometimes usually too, uh, but a lot of like their reproductive material fills up the volume of their legs, which is most of their body. Yeah, it's a neat, job. neat process. Uh, so, Steve, someone wants to know how large do sea spiders Can get? Four zero are they meters, crustaceans? Two five zero, please. Thank you. Are they crustaceans? No, they're not crustaceans. They are. Uh, they belong to the same groups as uh, some of the land spiders, like the chelicerates. Oh. Uh, yeah, the chelicerates share their uh, relatives with uh, land spiders. So, are, are they arachnid? Would you say? Uh, I. I don't know if they're arachnids. I know they're chelicerates. I have to look up my taxonomy there. All right, are we all set to uh, yep. move? I can head on anytime. All right. Bridge nav. Nice predation event. 